Making money online has never been easier. And yeah, I can prove it. In fact, over the last 11 months, I've been silently using AI in ways most other people didn't think possible. And this has been the biggest aid in making me close to $1 million. And it's actually very simple. So in this training, I'm gonna teach you 10 secret hacks that you can use with AI programs like ChatGPT, Google Bard, and even the free Microsoft Bing Copilot. We're gonna cut past all the fluff, all the theatrics, and show you stuff that actually works. These 10 things you're about to learn can put money in your pocket in a super simple way. And you don't need to have a big budget to start. You don't even need a website. Heck, you don't even really need to know what you're doing. Yeah, just humor me and follow these 10 steps to the T. Make sure you take notes, follow along, and think about ways that you can use these every day to put money in your pocket. So smash that like button, because we're gonna get started in just a minute. But first, a story. Back when I started affiliate marketing, internet marketing, and trying to make money online, it was the year 1999 and 2000. Back then, we had to do lots of work. We had to hand code our websites and use crazy tools like front page and other complicated page builders. We had to upload our files to the internet so people could see them. And no, not like today where you just drag and drop. We actually had to have a FTP program, know the codes, know the logins, and how all the folders and directories worked. It was a royal pain in the butt. And now, with AI, things have gotten a lot easier because back then I either had to write the content myself, create a video from step one to step two to step three, hire some programmer for like $300 an hour to make code, pay writers a couple hundred bucks for some slap together content, and it wasn't even that good. But today, we can use AI in the blink of an eye to do many different tasks that will help you make money online. These tasks are things you can do on your own to make money with affiliate marketing, AdSense, revenue share programs, or even sell your services to businesses. And it's actually pretty simple, but you need to follow this exact step. So smash that like button and let's dive in to the 10 AI hacks that are virtually guaranteed to put money in your pocket. So get ready, because we're starting right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a recap of what we've seen over the last 11, almost 12 months with AI. AI came on the scene in December of 2022, was it? I believe, whatever last year was, I think that was it. And uh, ever since, people have been going crazy about the ability to make money. But I think a lot of people have everything wrong. I think they're looking at this in the wrong way and not really understanding the power that is behind AI. Some people think it's in creating articles. Some people think it's in creating social media posts. And there's lots of different things that people think AI is really, really powerful and good for. But again, I think that's just looking at the tip of the iceberg. What we need to do is we need to understand exactly what's going on in the marketplace so that we understand how this tool can be used. Because, I mean, let's face it, right now, while you are sitting at your computer, right, right there, where you are in your office, even on your phone, this works on your phone if you don't have clobbery fingers like me that can't type correctly, you have the biggest productivity tool for online content creation and online money getting in all of history. Let me repeat that. Right now, while you're watching this, sitting there, you have access for free to some of the most powerful tools online today for productivity, money making, helping you shortcut different things, and all sorts of things that can help you put the old money in your pocket. And for those that were wondering, we get comments all the time of people who say, Marcus, the money is fake. 
And yes, this money is actually prop money. It would be kind of silly to keep like $4 million in my office. I don't think that would make sense, so we use prop money here. But what we're gonna show you is something very simple, very strategic that can help you put money in your pocket in a really, really easy way, okay? Very important. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be reading through this blog post which has the notes on it, and we're gonna show you exactly what's going on, okay? Very important. Now, this weekend we are going to have a major AI training class. This is going to be a class where I am actually training my outsourcers. A couple months ago I started an AI content generation company where we develop content for various different things. So if you wanna know that I know what I'm talking about, even though, as someone said in the comments, I did get confused about what year it was for a minute there. But we need to understand exactly what's going on and how this works because I've gone out there and I have created content to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars for myself and my students and businesses, all kinds of different things like that, and they are getting results. Now, in order to do that, we had to do a crash course because if you're creating like $100,000 worth of content in just two months with 15 employees, then I think you're gonna learn something really, really quickly on the crash course. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, which is how this works. And on Saturday and Sunday, we are going to have a training class where I'm going to train my outsourcers and my employees on how this works. It's gonna be like a four hour each day. It'll be recorded. We're gonna have people take notes. It's gonna be incredible. But that's not what this training is about. This training is about the 10 ways that you can use AI to make this work in a very simple way. If you're looking to make money, obviously number one is going to be articles and blog posts. A lot of people know that yes, using AI, we can create articles and blog posts for ourselves and for other people. There are companies out there like iWriter, Hire Writers, or you could start your own company. You can do Fiverr, you can create stuff for search engines and promote different things using AI content. Now, most people are gonna to go to ChatGPT and just tell it, hey, write a content, write an article about X, Y, and Z. They're gonna get a generic article that does not do a good job. For example, when I went here and I was talking about how to get some AI use cases, notice how we're prompting this and looking at the result and taking it a step further. In order to get a good article with ChatGPT that'll pass plagiarism tests, that'll pass the AI content test, and actually give a good result, right? This is all about giving a good result. A lot of people are gonna try to shortcut the system and Google has you know, come back swinging and they're like, hey guys, you know, we need good content. We don't care if it's AI or not, we need good content. We're gonna to talk to you about a recent Google YouTube update in pertaining to AI content that is very important as well. But first, notice how when we are going through and prompting AI, we are looking at different things and we are pulling in different sources. The key to making this work is to understand several different things. So whenever you're creating something online, we need to go through and we need to understand exactly who we are making this for. Is this for a business? Is this for uh, someone searching? Is it for someone on social media? And on and on we go. Because when I said at the beginning that this is an unparalleled time where you can create content that will put money in your pocket, I absolutely mean it. Because so many people are out there and they're like, well, I'm just gonna use ChatGPT and AI to try to rank on Google. And that's all fine and good. But that's like one fourth of the equation. All right, so if you're not good at ranking on Google, if you're not good at keyword research and stuff like that, don't worry, there is hope for you. So what we need to do first and foremost is we need to ask ourselves, who are we making this for? What is this going to be for? Because primarily what we're doing is using ChatGPT to make code, content, video scripts, social media stuff, images, and different things like that. And when we understand that all of this ties in to something even bigger, okay? There's something even bigger. And if you get it, if you watch this entire video and you get it and you're like, wait a minute, I'm literally sitting on something that could make a gold mine for me if and when used properly. I, I need you to understand the power of what you have. And you know what, let's, let's, let's have a little story. We had story time in the beginning. 
let's have story time and we'll go a little bit farther back. Back when I was a kid, I was about, I think, 14, 15 years old when computers got really popular. And I remember, you know, we had the, the 286 was my first computer. And it was this old beast of a computer. It was like this big and it can hardly do a one one zillionth of what you can do on your phone. The thing didn't even go online. I don't even think it had a modem or maybe it had like a 1900 kilobyte modem or something like that. And when I was a kid, I, I looked at it because my friends wanted to play Doom and they wanted to chat on AOL and things like that when the internet was new. And for me, I wasn't really into that. I remember we'd go and we'd hang out and we'd watch MTV and we'd talk on AOL and it would come up on MTV and we felt like we were famous for about two minutes and then, you know, it went away. But back then, that's what my friends were interested in. Now, I wasn't. I also didn't have a computer that connected to the internet till many years later. And back then I, I would look at my friends and I'd say, dude, you could probably like start a business and make money with this. Yes, even at the age of 14 or 15, I was thinking this different way where I was like, hey, there is something here. We have something powerful and I remember when I worked for a pizza delivery company, um, this guy was like kind of a crazy boss and uh, he had me create coupons because I was like, hey, I know how to use this. I'll create some coupons. And he's like, yeah, I'll give you like 150 bucks if you make these coupons. And I was like, wow, I can use this computer to go to my boss and get $150 to make these coupons. Hey, that's pretty cool. I was like, wow, $100. You know, I work all day to get that in the coupons back then because my computer crashed about four times. It did take me all day to make those coupons, but I looked at that and I said, there is something to this. And that was back on an old e-machine uh, that cost me about $260. I remember I got it on sale and um, people were saying, you know, that's like an old computer, that's not gonna work. But I was able to get that working and make money with it. And a lot of people didn't understand it. And I have lots of friends. Over the years, through the woodworks, I, you know, there were so many different things going on, and it was difficult. And so my friends were like, dude, what, what, what gives? And over the years, my friends have come to me and they've asked me for jobs, they've asked me for all different things and how to teach them how to make money. I mean, people come out of the woodworks when you start making money online. And I thought, well, what was the difference between me and them back then? The difference was I got it. I understood this computer is more than just looking at the Facebook. It's more than just looking at this. It's looking more than just that. And I understood it. And if you want to get it and you're like, Marcus, I'm ready to get it. It is my time. I want to make money with this because even better than when you were back in the old day, okay, what happened was now it's easier. It's easier now. There are more tools to help you make money than ever before. And if you get this and you understand, okay, we can use this in a way, like I literally have a computer that's sitting here. All right, this right here, ChatGPT and other AI is one of the most powerful tools ever. That's why it's all over the news. That's why the government's freaking out. That's why all this stuff is leading up to this. And you're sitting there wondering, how do I make money with it? First, we need it to click. I remember, we'll have another story here, all right? When I was in rehab, and uh, I'm almost 10 years sober today, so there's that. But when I was in rehab, I remember that they had told us all these different things about how stuff works. Right, and they would say things like, you know, uh, perfection is the enemy of excellence. And they would say things about understanding the power of different things. And they would, you know, help us understand that the mind is like a lens and you get what you focus on. And that some people can have the same information and get a completely different result. And so what we're looking at here is some people can have AI and get a completely different result. And if you understand the power of what is in front of you, and what it can be used for, I think that is key. 
All right, so first of all, again, we have articles and blog posts that we can use. We can create articles and different things like that. Now, what we need to do is we need to always ask ourselves, when I come over here to Bing, when I come over here to ChatGPT, or I go to Bard, we need to say, what am I doing? All right, if you're just writing an article because you think that the internet needs more articles, well, yeah, you're not going to make any money. What we need to do is we need to understand exactly what's going on. We need to understand when I create an article or a blog post, who am I reaching and what do I want to do? How am I going to help people? Like this, when I come on here and I create a live stream or a training, we have to look at it and say, who is it that is wanting to watch this? Well, it's someone who wants to make money online. Now notice, this is actually created by AI. However, we're delivering it in a way that's going to meet people that aren't necessarily just search engine people. This is super important here. So we're gonna take a look and we're gonna say, well, can I generate a blog post on the topic of this? Or can I do this? Can I parse things from different areas? One of the things that, that I have done a lot with AI is to use multiple tools and use multiple sources. For example, Bing AI is fantastic at right now data. All right, if I go chat GPT and I say, talk about the AI updates, in September 2023, it's gonna say, hey, you know what? I only got information, unless you do browsing with Bing. It will do it if you have the browsing with Bing plugin. But a lot of times it will not show you that. And so using Bing, I can actually go and I can, I can cruise the web and find things and actually parse it in live, which is important. So when I'm going about this, what I want to do is I want to say, well, what is my article or blog post going to do? What is the purpose? Who do I want to reach? And then we can go through and we can start to detail our outline. And we can start to look at, okay, here's what we want to do. If I was going to write something on um, like this, here's one I did for a press release. What I wanted to do is I wanted to write a press release, and we'll get into this in a minute, about different topics of starting a blog. So I'm like, okay, 2024 is coming up and people are gonna have New Year's resolutions and we're gonna go through and they're gonna wanna start a blog. And I know that I could get paid with web hosting, so all I would need to do is talk about all these different things. So what I did was I fed ChatGPT different information. And this is another thing I learned in alcohol recovery is the input output. What you put into your mind is what you are going to get out of it. And when you have a circular way of thinking, because right now, let's face it, okay? And we're a little off topic, but I think this is going to really help you understand this. So if you dig it, smash a like button and let me know. And what happens is when you have ChatGPT, okay, ChatGPT and other AI is trained on a data set. Now, back when I was trying to get sober from alcohol, what happened is they said, well, you know, if you're here and you have your thoughts, right, and all your thoughts are within your head, Okay, so right now you, you might be thinking, well, you know, I can't make money online. There's no way to make money online. Marcus can't show me anything. Nothing works for me. I just can't do it. Okay, what's happening is you are thinking within your current data set. All right, so if you try to go outside that data set and there's an idea out here that will help you make money, you're never going to see it. Much like with me, there were ideas outside my head that would help me stop drinking. But I couldn't see them because I was relying on all this. So what I needed to do was put new thoughts in my head. And one of the things that I've done, which I urge you guys to do, if you want to be successful, if you want to um, you know, break habits and things like that, is to listen to outside thoughts. Listen to other people. A lot of people come on here and they say, Marcus, you know, I like your trainings, but get to the point, you talk too long, it takes too long to watch you. And I'm like, well, what we need to do is we need to look for it because if you're thinking that it takes too long to get to the point, that means, ladies and gentlemen, 
you are doing the biggest fallacy ever, which is listening for what you already know. Let me say that again. The fallacy is listening for what you already know. Lots of people watch things. They read books. They do whatever. Listen to tapes. They go to church. They go to seminars. And they listen for what they already know so that they could shake their head and agree with it and say, well, great. And then it doesn't add anything to their current mindset. What we need to do is we need to open our mind and add things to our existing mindset. And this is super important. Now, ladies and gentlemen, why did I go on that tangent? Because AI is the same way. If you go in AI, it's going to answer based on its current data set. However, one of the most imp important lessons I learned in life is that the mind is like a lens and you get what you focus on. The mind is like a lens and you get what you focus on. AI is like a lens and where you point it and the information you give it is going to give you the output. And if you want output that is going to put money in your pocket, this is what you need to pay attention to. Because when I go out here and I say, hey, I want a press release based on these keywords about how to start a blog in these different ways, then I give it the data. I just copy and pasted this data from my keyword tool. And it said, uh, what kind of press release do you want? And it came up with a press release about how to start a blog and get rich in 2024 with AI. It included all the different things. And then, boom, there we go. Now I have a piece of content that can work. And I, I was very specific that I wanted the other keywords. I wanted sports, lifestyle, mom blog, fitness, beauty blog, and all these different things. Why? Because this was based on the data that had how to start a blog and things like that, right? Very, very, very important. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at that and say, okay, yes, I can use AI to create articles and blog posts, very good. But again, we are going to focus on creating stellar content in a way that's going to meet people where they want. And notice how this, I mean, I could have easily gone out there like most people would do. Right, And they would say, let's go to the regular Ahrefs here, and I'll show you guys what this looks like. Okay, And you can use a free keyword tool. It just takes a little longer, which is why I'm not going to do it here. And what we're going to do is something like start a blog. Okay, So we'll go start blog. Okay, And what's going to happen here is we're going to get keyword data on how to start a blog. And what most people will do is be like, hey, uh, AI, you know, make me a piece of content on how to start a travel blog, right? I could go here and say, um, make me an article on how to start a travel blog. Okay, now it'll do an okay job, but this is what everyone's going to get. Okay, embarking on a journey of a thousand miles, blah, blah, blah. It's not even getting to the point here. Define your niche and purpose. Okay, well, we already know our niche. It's, it's travel, right? Um, so what I would do is say, okay, well, how can I think about this different? How can I say, well, define your niche and purpose. Maybe I'll go through. And what's going to happen is as I read this, I'm going to think of stuff. Okay, please make a table on some different niches for travel bloggers, okay? So we'll go like this, and now it's got to optimize for SEO, blah, 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 blah. So hosting platform, that's where I'll put my affiliate link. Really cool. Now again, remember, I don't have to use this on Google. I could use this on social media. Hey, are you thinking of starting a blog this year? Download my free uh, PDF or whatever. And we're gonna go through and get better data based on what's coming out, right? So we're gonna watch this and say, okay, now make me the table. And then we could say, you know, now make me a table of the top uh, keywords that pay the most within the travel blog. Or maybe now make a table of the best affiliate programs for travel bloggers, right? And what we wanna do is we wanna think about this in a different way to where we're getting something to where if someone came in and wanted to start a travel blog, we got the best content possible, right? Spend the time and do the work because if you do, it's like that old rule that says the people who do 10% more or 10% better are gonna get like 90% more rewards. And that's a fact. It is an absolute fact 
when you understand it because most people will not go through and do the work. Most people won't actually think. And that's what this requires is thinking with AI and prompting it in the right way. Now, when we look at this, we can do articles and blog posts. That is a fantastic way to make money. Now, using what I just taught you, the vast majority of people that are going to sell AI content to businesses are just going to sell a bunch of rehashed junk content. They are not gonna think about the strategy and the plan. That's why I'm able to make a lot with my AI content business is because we're looking at it in a different way and we're looking at the strategy. Because we don't need more content, we need strategy. And so when we look at that, it's like, okay, now I have something that's actually gonna do really, really well. Now I can go through and have a table of the best affiliate programs for travel bloggers. And I can ask it, okay, what would the intent be of someone looking this up? What would be uh, the, the steps and things like that? And like Mr. De Silva says, people rely too much on artificial intelligence and it's gonna change the way that we think. And it's absolutely true. And this is the time for us to rise to the top. There is a window right now where you can use these tools and make it work in a very simple way, right? When we understand how to put this stuff together, right? And then we go through and make an article and look at how fast it does the research and how fast it looks up all this stuff for us, which is actually pretty insane. I mean, we didn't have this when I started internet marketing. Right, we had like junk things that, that did this, but nothing at this level, which is important. So now when we look at that, it's like, yes, I can use uh, AI to do articles and blog posts. I can sell them. I can use them for my own stuff. Right now we're using this on hundreds and hundreds of blogs across the internet in, in many different niches and we're getting great results. I mean, we have some that are getting insane results. They're ranking well. They're getting tons of traffic because we're focusing on a strategy and focusing on providing good content based on what people are looking for. Now, the next thing we can use AI for is to create landing page content. Now, I stuck this one in here, even though uh, we had a list of like 50 different uses of AI. I stuck this one in here because it kind of goes hand in hand with some other stuff that you can do that doesn't have to deal with SEO. I know a lot of people are looking at, oh, AI's big strong point is SEO and video. And you know, it does do those well. It does really well at making content. But again, when you have something that works that well and is that easy, you're gonna have a lot more people flooding the internet with content and it's gonna, it's gonna get like it did before where it seemed to be too competitive. Now, if we're using landing page content, right? Let's say we're gonna go through and say, um, I want a landing page. So what, what is a landing page? A landing page is quite simply a page that you land on. And what I mean by that is if you were gonna use SEO, you would say, oh, someone goes in and searches for how to start a travel blog, they hit your landing page, okay? And your landing page would be the page that they land on, which could be, it could be this page here that we created in ChatGPT, although I wouldn't use this. I would use something else. So when we look at that, what the idea of the landing page for me would be is, okay, what if we made get my free travel blog guide? It includes 100 different affiliate programs that you can use to make money, plus 10 different ways to make money. Now before, ladies and gentlemen, before, I did not offer this service. We do high ticket niches, we sell them all the time. And up until now, we're starting to do it on, on some select ones now, I wasn't able to give the guide because it would just, I'd have to go and pay a writer 500 bucks to do it. I'd get crappy content. I'd have to pay another writer to fix it. In order to do that, the high ticket niche program would be like $10,000 by the time we're done. But now using AI, I can get a really good piece of content with one of my workers for around 20 to $50. And it's actually a very, very good piece of content. It is well thought out and we are showing how it works. Now, if I had this landing page, now I can create a name and email. I could say, put your name and email to get my travel blog report, right? And I could say, what are 
some examples of travel successful travel blogs, right? And now this is where we could go through and use multiple stuff. So I'm going to use ChatGPT and then I'm going to go over here to Bing and I could type in, uh, let's see, Bing. I could type in something like search, let's do, um, let's do successful travel blogs, make make money, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and here's some that make money. I could go over to news and find some news reports, right? See how these are working. This is why the press release thing is, is so good for stuff like this. And we can go through and find them um, and say, okay, here are people that are making money with travel blogs, right? So we could put travel blogs in here in quotes and get some specific travel blogs, right? So 10 strategies I used to make money travel blogging. Now I can go to a page like this, and yes, it does look pretty good here, and then I can go to the Bing Copilot and say summarize this blog and story about how they make money. Right, so now we can go through, get this summary, and side by side, I'm gonna throw this back into um, ChatGPT, and I'm going to get a very, very specific article, and, and boom, now then we go. So here's 10 strategies, they're gonna talk about how it works. I'm gonna put that in here, in addition to the ones that this gave us. And now what's gonna happen is, you know, I'm gonna spend time, so if I spend, three hours, five hours, eight hours, making a really good giveaway. Maybe it'll be like 20 to 30 pages on how to start a travel blog, right? Now we're gonna go through and we are going to look at this and be like, oh, now this is something someone would want. I can go in travel communities on um, Facebook or wherever and I could say, hey, by the way, if you're interested in travel blogging, I have a 50 page guide on how you can do travel blogging. And what happens is now you're separated from the run of the mill people that are just making mediocre content hoping that people find it, right? Does this make sense? Smash the like button if you're like, okay, I'm seeing how this makes sense because I can use this to make a landing page. Now, please make a landing page script or content to get people to put their name and email for this free travel blog money guide, right? We can go through and we can make this work in a simple way. And even if you don't know coding, watch what happens next. So here we got our header, turn your tra passion into profit, get your free guide now, unlock the secrets of making money with your travel blog. Are you travel enthusiast? So it goes through and it does all this stuff. Here's our benefits. It's actually following along very, very good. Um, enter your details, instant access, start your journey. So this is looking really good. Here's some testimonials. I would probably not have the testimonials because you know, that's not true, it just made them up, so I'm not gonna wanna do that. Um, here's our call to action, don't miss this chance. And then I can go through and say, now please make the HTML code that I can put on my blog with Aweber as my uh, mailing list program. My Aweber username is one do whatever, okay? And it'll actually make the code and it'll go through and, and create that for you. Once it's done with this, I think, let's see. There it goes, right? And it'll actually make the code and I can use this um, very simple, right? It's gonna try to do this. Yes, it does need, so all it needs is an Aweber if you use that. And it'll actually do uh, the HTML code, okay? And then I could literally upload this to my blog right now, um, and chances are it might take a little tweaking and stuff, but this would actually work, and you can create pages in a very simple way. Um, you can create duplicate pages for other stuff, and then I could say, okay, now do the same thing for fashion blogging, uh, food blogging, you know, diet blogging, workout blogging, and all this other stuff, 
and it'll go through and make this in a very simple way. We can, uh, yeah, if you want to use ConvertKit, just tell it to do ConvertKit. Now, the reason I use Aweber is because that form works really well. Like, I know that'll work. I don't know if ConvertKit works the same way. Um, but again, you know, you can go and you can make one in ChatGPT and you can use that as a giveaway. And that's what we're going to talk about in these things. It's like, we want to think outside the box. It's not that hard to do. You just need to think differently and you need to be willing to put in the time to make something good. I mean, if you made a really good travel blogging article that was you know 20 or 30 pages once you have that it's it's game over now i can go and i can get in front of all the people that want to do a travel blog right and i could there we go um, i can go on podcasts i can say hey by the way we have this here and we could see exactly uh, what's going on. There's lots of people looking for travel blog, um, start a travel blog, and all different kinds of things like that, uh, which is really cool. Okay, next up, uh, we talked about press releases, right? So again, stack on top of what you're doing, because I can go here and say, now please make a press release about this new travel blog money guide, okay? And it'll go through and it'll make a press release on this stuff. Now, using press releases is twofold because I can actually make the press releases to get traffic, okay? Traffic. I can use the press release to get traffic for myself. So if I wanted to promote that guide, I could put that up. I will probably get some traffic using press releases. We were on a, a one of our Blog Profit Network calls yesterday. A lot of people were doing press releases for Black Friday offers and they are ranking. They're, they're there, they're ranking, they're getting results right now. Now another thing you can do is you can have that as a service as well, right? I'm sure if you go to Fiverr, I'm sure there's people that are doing press releases. Let's see, Fiverr. Dot com, and you can do it on your own. This is something that I'm doing in my content business as well. So if I do press release, okay, we're gonna see that on Fiverr, you got uh, press release $20, $30, $100. I will write a captivating press release as your copywriter, 100 bucks. I will write a press release and do the distribution for 195. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to find a gap. This is what we call drop servicing, but I do it in a different way. So drop servicing, drop servicing, that says drop servicing. Drop servicing is where, it, it's basically like my content business, okay? So let's say if I didn't have a bunch of employees and people on staff, okay? Let's say that I went and ordered these. Let's say you use something like content at scale, okay? I could use content at scale. I can have my customer come here and say, hey, here's some money, all right, here's his money and I want a piece of content for X, Y, and Z. And I say, okay, great, so you give me $50 for the content, I pay content at scale, $15, and I pocket 35, okay? That would be an example of um, drop servicing. Now what I like to do is I like to add a caveat that other people don't know. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at this and say, okay, great. Um, what if I could make this do press releases, but I buy the press release, right? So I'd go to the press release company and say, hey, I'm gonna buy these all day long. Can I get a deal, right? And usually I'll get a deal. I've done this many times where you can do that. Or maybe even find some free places where you're like, hey, if you order a press release from us, we will submit it to the free places for you for free, okay? So hey, you just order it and there you go. Um, that's something that works extremely well uh, because what they're doing is they're getting value in addition. Years ago, uh, we would do something where it was like, hey, if you get this, you get $100 in credit for this other thing. And people liked it because it was like, well, 
I pay you 100 and I get 100 credit, so it's basically free. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Much like how you would do with affiliate marketing where you're like, oh, hey, if you get web hosting, maybe I'll make you a theme or I'll build your site for you. Or if you get um, this software, I'll teach you how to use it. Something like that, or, or maybe I'll give you some templates for it. This is something people did uh, with like ClickFunnels and, and all those other funnel builder softwares where they would create templates that you can use thus making their value go up. What we need to do, this is it. Okay, a lot of marketers talk about this, but no one says it. No one says what it is because they can't define it and they don't really know. And it is making you the value. What are you going to do that's going to make you more valuable? Anyone could promote a web hosting offer. Anyone can promote an Amazon product. Why are you the best one? Now, there's two ways to have value. One is get them to see it. Okay, if you get them to see it, I come on here and I'm like, hey, you know, today we're going to talk about a uh, little banana paperweight or whatever it is. Okay, and you, you might not have known there was a banana paperweight, therefore you see it from me. My value is in getting people over there. That's all it is. It's not like a huge value, it's just traffic. Or you can have value in the way of saying, well, we're gonna give you this free travel blog guide, and if you sign up for web hosting through me, we'll give you our travel blogging kit, and we'll help you set it up, and we'll have weekly calls with you, or, or whatever it is, right? That is where you are going to add the value based on the specific stuff. Travel blogging versus, hey, just make money blogging, or whatever it is, all right? Same thing with press releases, right? There's lots of people who are looking for uh, how to submit a press release and they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to write it. They don't know what to do. And some of these companies are a complete pain. I remember I was trying to do one for my alcohol recovery YouTube channel and I wanted to get some press to it and they still haven't accepted it because it's like, oh, you need to, re you need to get these. And now using AI, I could probably get it accepted like that. Um, and that would be the value is like, hey, here you go. Here's the format. Okay, so here's press release template. Okay, so I could go through and be like, um, new chat, what does a press release template look like? Okay, and I can actually go through and I can make this in a very simple way or I could give this PDF away for the people looking up the template and we know they're looking up the template. Again, we're gonna stack these. Okay, here's my press release template. Put your name and email to get the press release. Now I'm, now I'm getting in there and I'm understanding this. Right, how many of you guys are getting this? Are you guys getting it? Smash that like button and let me know in the comments if you guys are getting the power of, hey, we can use these in a really, really simple way and AI is going to help us do the legwork and create a lot of the things for us. And we can go through and say, okay, great. Now, please make the template with fill in the blanks, right? Watch this, watch how cool this is. So I could do now make the template with fill in the blanks. There it is. Then I can say now please make a form and page that a user can input the blanks and get a press release. Okay, so now what it's going to do is it's literally going to make the code that I could put on my site and it's like, hey, you want to write a press release, put your business name, put your product, put this, put that, bada bing, bada boom, and it's going to go through and it's going to create this in a very, very simple way. So it's going to use CSS and it'll probably actually create it. I think with a little bit of trial and error, we can get it to create this stuff, which is really cool because then you can do like a title generator, a business name generator, all different kinds of things based on what people want. And there it goes making the code for me. So this is the form, right? I put that form on there. It looks a little skimpy. I might have to have it rerun it, um, but it'll show the different stuff and then boom, there you go. Very, very simple. And um, it's not difficult to do. So utilizing articles, landing page contents, press releases, podcast transcripts, now, this is twofold. When we're doing podcast transcripts, we could do, it's actually threefold. So one, okay, we can have it make a podcast outline. Okay? Now, 
I can do this for businesses. I can go to businesses that have podcasts. I can help them create their own podcast outline, right? Very simple. So I'd go through and be like, okay, um, now make a podcast outline for how to make money in 2024 as a travel blogger with the info above. And I think we're in the wrong one. So we'll go in this one, see what's going on. Uh, GPT wasn't keen to make an actual calculator for me, but I suppose time you can get it. Yes, for calculators, it's actually pretty good. Um, Bard is better at coding than GPT. So, you know, maybe, maybe mess around with it in Bard. And one of the things that will help, again, is give it examples, right? I could go through and I can say mortgage calculator script JavaScript. Okay, and then I can go through and say, okay, well, here's the Java mortgage calculator. Um, how can I make this work? Right, so I could go through and say, um, you know, look at, please look at this calculator. We are going to make one for BMI. Okay. And then we'll put that in there. I think it has the calculator stuff in it. It might be able to look at it. Right, but again, the key is prompting what you want. Can I give it an example? Because what that's gonna do is in the uh, automotive industry, they call it throwing a wrench in the transmission. It's gonna screw everything up because right now, AI is in its own little bubble and it's thinking its own little way, which is great. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna be like, well, put this with this, and here's the example, and give me this, right? It's like an algebra equation, only you don't have to know algebra because don't worry, I didn't pass that class either. But we can go through and look at this um, here and say, okay, make me the calculator. Um, and that's something that can work really, really well. And if you're interested in that, I would urge you to check out the videos in the description of this one because we literally went through when ChatGPT came out, this was how I was making money with it um, by creating simple things like this. And a lot of the tools that we made on the Profit Scoop, which this site makes me money all the time, a lot of these tools were created with ChatGPT. The iframe generator, this was created with ChatGPT. I just slapped my logo on it um, and different things like that. We had a QR code generator. This is one that creates QR codes. This was created with ChatGPT and utilizing these little tools works good. But I digress, because we were talking about podcasts. And so now we have um, our podcast over here. Where'd our podcast go? Start a travel blog, okay? So now we have our podcast that it's saying, here's how we would, we would run this. Um, and then you could say, now keep going, please. Right, and this is gonna go through and make it work, um, which is cool. Uh, the scariest thing might be that doctors in 2040 use ChatGPT to get through medical school. Well, I think that um, there are a lot of medical things happening with AI, um, and I think some of them can actually be kind of good because it's like, okay, your you know, normal doctor can't look at all the data that ChatGPT can, um, and as far as data, it's good. Would I want you know, ChatGPT to perform something complex? Probably not, not yet at least. Uh, but we're starting to understand, hey, this is looking pretty good. It gave me a, an hour long, hour and five minute uh, podcast about doing a, a, a blog for travel blogging, right? And so it's doing a good job and, and using that can work really good. You can sell it and come up with ideas. Again, what you need to do if you want to be successful in the new economy that is involving AI, it is happening whether you like it or not, or not, right? You need to make yourself a pro at understanding what to get and how to use it. Because it's not just about more content, it's about understanding where it's going to be used. Another one we can look at and I'll say, I think, let me see if I had, yeah, we have this one down here, um, is infographics, right? I can use AI to create infographics based on a morning routine, a product for sale, Black Friday offers, something very, very simple. And it can create infographics 
in a snap based on data. I could go and get keyword data. I could get data on how much the average person saves. And what we need to do, there was a really interesting book I read. It's a little on the sinister evil side because it was written by news corporations. And it was about how to use statistics to get people to your point of view. Now, this was talking about you know, using bad statistics like how CNN or Fox News will present some things that don't really correlate, but they'll correlate them. What we want to do is that in a different way. We want to say, okay, well, you know, maybe when I'm doing something about travel bloggers, I can say, uh, great, what are some statistics of people making money blogging? And again, remember, take this with a grain of salt. The results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. But we're going to go through and look at this, and it'll get us some statistics on bloggers making money. Oh, it's actually visiting Ahrefs. Interesting. Well, hey, there you go, right? Um, and it's going to go through and it's going to find that stuff in a very, very simple way. Um, so it says, that's why I'm here. You are on the cutting edge. I'm like a sponge. I think you could be a college professor in AI. Maybe. I don't have any uh, fancy degrees or nothing, but I think it's very simple that we look at this. And, you know, anyone can go out there and create a business where you are providing these services to other people. And I'll tell you, when I started, we'll have another story time here. When I started my business, I, I was okay at getting search engine stuff. But what I did is I used other businesses as my testing ground, right? They would pay me to do services. I'd learn how to do it and, and get paid. And then over the course of time, I would learn it for myself. And that's one of the best ways to learn this stuff is to understand that, hey, you know what? I can get paid to learn it um, in an easy way. And so what's going to happen is it's going to find these statistics and it's finding a lot, apparently. It's just going for it. But it's going to find these statistics and put them together, and I can have it create an infographic. I think the new chat GPT does allow that, which is pretty cool. Like the new chat GPT 4.5 or whatever it is, is actually pretty robust. And that's why when I tell you guys, like, this platform is so powerful, so many people don't get it. They're just, oh, hey, it's cute. Look, it's, you know, gave me a recipe. And I... Like, I don't want ChatGPT to give me a recipe. It doesn't have taste buds. It's probably not going to do the greatest job. But I can get something else. And now we're getting general earnings overview, 33%. The average full-time blogger earns 51000 a year. Top bloggers can make over this. Great. So now, now please make an infographic about this is where your thinking comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to be like, OK, um, what is the average income in USA? OK, so the average income in the United States of America right as of 2019. Let's see if I can find 2022. As of 20, OK, so. Household income, we want the average personal income. So the average personal income, I think, was about 35000 How blogging is better than the average hourly income in the USA, right? And it'll go through and it'll put those together. But we need to understand that it's not going to do that until you think the step ahead. So now it's going to go through and it's going to make an infographic title. And I can put this into um, Dolly or uh, whatever and get something that's going to work. Or, or, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it's going to get, like you want to make serious cash. What I could do is I could get good at figuring out that info. And I could be like, hey, now, I can take all these little things I make in ChatGPT. I can get some outsourcers. Depending on where they're at, it could be like $5 an hour or something like that. I think that's pretty close to where we're at right now for some of our outsourcers. And they can make an infographic every hour or two. So it, in the, I give them the stuff at night. In the morning, I will have anywhere from four to eight infographics that I can use. And to show you how this works, um, I actually have a Pinterest 
that I don't run. I don't even know how to use Pinterest. Um, but I have an assistant that does Pinterest. And what she's doing is taking all of these different products. Where'd we go? Come on now. All these different products and putting little infographics about here's the useless book, the emoji, French fry holder, and on and on we go. And we have all these different things. It's basically funny products that make lots of money. And we're getting uh, 2,100 monthly views just from these. And that, that was her job. It took her like you know two weeks or something to put tons of these up. They just, they just keep going and keep going and keep going. And so now what we're doing is I'm going through and I'm like, okay, so here's all these products. And I'm thinking, okay, this works good for like people who want to do drop shipping. And so now what she's doing, I think I just got a drop from her this morning from um, some of these. And what they're doing is they're making content on them. Right? And if, like, how many of you guys see that this is so much easier? Now I can get content, right? So, so it's got the infographic there, right? And it's getting me traffic. Then she goes through and gives it the info, and it's a template, and it gets you uh, content. So let's see here. Here's uh, this much money with a, with a whistle. Right, and then it shows different products, how much they're making, how the product works, how much it sells. You could get it on Alibaba, it shows, related products, all different things like that. And now it's just a quadruple pronged approach where it's like, okay, now we have like the dog mask poodle, or I don't know, that's a weird one. Let's do um, turtle shell pillow. Right, so this one's the turtle shell pillow. And again, what's gonna happen is now I'm gonna ping on all this traffic, right? It's like, okay, turtle shell pillow. It's kind of hard to say. And it's like, oh, check this out. Boom, 700, 500, 300. So not only will I actually sell these things, because I'll probably rank for them, but I will also get people that are like, oh, now we're gonna look at this guy's Pinterest because he's talking about drop shipping products. We're going to read his blog because he's talking about drop shipping products. We're going to get this. Now I think this Marcus guy knows a little bit about making money online. Maybe I'll check out his courses or whatever it is. And so it's like a, a multi-pronged approach where it's like, okay, and actually I have an outsourcer that is also, so we, it started with Pinterest. What I did is I said, here's the logins for my Jungle Scout, my Ahrefs, and I think some other program so they can find the data get the data, make a pin, right? So it's like, okay, let's get the pin. Here's the useless book. It's a template. Here's how much it's making. Here's what the book looks like. Here's my little blurb on where to go next, right? Then I go through and I'm like, okay, here's the content. They're making a video. And now it's a multi-pronged approach that's working really good based on infographics. And when you realize that I can now put these together, right? So now all I would need to do Again, remember, we went up here and we talked about articles and blog posts where most people are just trying to get search stuff. No, 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 no. I'm going to go through and I'm going to say, okay, great. Now make me a list of the 100 crazy products on Amazon, where to find them, what they pay, how much they make, and make a giant 50-page report. How many of you guys, right now, if I was like, I got a 100-page report on crazy profitable drop shipping products, that you could get on Alibaba for a buck and sell for this much, how many of you guys would think that was valuable, right? So will all these people looking at my Pinterest. And we start to understand that this works with literally everything, and that's where we come into writing an ebook. Right now I can go through and say, hey, here are the top products, write an ebook about these, or I could compile the ebook myself, or a white paper. A white paper is kind of like an ebook, but the short form version where I'm going to go through and be like, okay, the white paper um, is, is going to be, here's the use cases for AI. Here are AI tools that businesses are using to make lots of money or whatever it is. Um, another use for AI is video script, right? So now I could go through, I, I got the podcast script. I could say now, please make a video script with examples on how to start a travel blog and how much they earn. Focus on eight minutes. 
Okay, this will go through and it'll make the script for us. Again, don't just copy and paste it from the get-go. Go through, do the work, think about it. Um, really look at how it's working. So that's another one you can do. And again, you can see like, if you're like, I just wanna make money, video script. Here's people that are getting paid to make video scripts. Thousand video scripts, 10 bucks each. Dude's made 10,000 bucks on those at least. He's probably made more because some are longer. Um, 186, 13, so these are selling. Here's another one, video script writer. 900, or 900 uh, orders, 125 bucks each. That ain't bad, right? Um, so these are getting orders. You can see this is good stuff. Now, if you go out there and someone says, write me a video about elephants, I mean, you gotta do the thinking and make it good and understand what the user wants. If you just get junk output and give it to them, that ain't gonna work, right? So you have to really, 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 really focus on, hey, how do I make this really good? And this actually looks pretty good. It's showing the examples. Um, and again, look at that. We, we are an hour in, and I have some, how many of you guys, you're like, wow, we're an hour in, and Marcus actually has some pretty good content on how to start a travel blog. Like I think there's some good stuff here. We got a video script and different things like that, um, which is really good. Another thing is product descriptions, right? So I could go through, I could say, you know, here's my product, give me a description for Amazon, Shopify, um, Etsy, right? We could get all these different things uh, in a very easy way. Another one is email campaigns. So we talked about, okay, I can take my travel blog big guide, I can make a landing page to get them to put their name and email. Now, once they put their name and email in, what am I gonna give them? Well, I could go through and say, uh, come up with a mailing list. I think I, yeah, right here. Um, I said, create a seven day email series about how to start your first blog. So now I could get all the people in, here's the travel bloggers, here's these bloggers, here's the food bloggers, here's the elephant bloggers. I don't know what an elephant blogger is, but if there was one, he would want my report. It's a good report. And we could say, here is a seven day email series outline, start your first blog. Subject line, welcome to your blogging journey. Uh, here's the benefits, here's this stuff. And now I can go through and say, great. Now please write email one. And the call to action is starting the blog with a free checklist on my website, okay? So now it's gonna make number one, where I would say, hey, go to my website to get the checklist to start your blog. The goal would be to get them to get web hosting, um, which is how I would get paid. And now it's going through and creating, um, there you go, someone says elephant bloggers work for peanuts. Uh, well, I don't work for peanuts. All right, who knows that movie quote? That's a good movie. It's an older movie, but it is a good movie. Um, and so now we have our, our content for our email, which is really cool because, I mean, I spend a lot of time writing emails every week and bulk emails to my list, and it's actually doing the what's ahead in the series, and it's doing a good job. And again, I'm sure there are people looking this stuff up, um, email series, or let's do autoresponder. Right, so there's people that are getting paid to write autoresponder stuff. Let's do two words, I think. Email copy, there we go, email copy. All right, so here's all the people that are doing email templates, um, cart abandonment email series, and these guys are just like duplicating stuff. Yours would be custom, which means you get to get paid more. And what one of the biggest things about AI is um, the fact that I can customize something and charge a premium without really being an expert in the topic, right? I could just go through and AI will do that for me, which is really cool. So email campaigns are really good. Social media posts, right? If you wanna be a social media manager, I know a couple years ago it was all the rage to be an SMMA or whatever it was, social media marketing, manager, whatever, something like that. I remember Ty Lopez and all these other whatever guys, I don't know if their stuff's any good or not, never gone through it, but they were hawking this social media uh, course and you know, you had to do some thinking, you had to have a team and you had to do the work. With AI, I mean, you don't. Like you could literally go through, have AI create the templates 
and then adapt them. Right, that's something that's really cool is you can adapt the templates and help people get much better results. Because let's face it, most of the people out there that are getting lots of traffic on social media, they are not doing good when it comes to monetizing and getting people to the blog. Most people are just using something like, you know, Linktree or something like that rather than getting people in. You guys will notice um, Linktree just has a bunch of links. What I do is something specific. That's why I always tell you guys, go to downloadmynotes.com. I put my notes on my blog so they get ranked. You guys get them, and I build a mailing list so that you guys can see other stuff as well. Uh, next up, we have uh, social media posts. You could do video. You could do um, all kinds of different stuff with social media, Facebook posts. Instagram, different things like that. There have been people who have literally made personalities that are AI and they build a huge social media following. Uh, next up is FAQs. We can give it some info. Like you can go to uh, Amazon, you can get the descriptions from all different kinds of stuff, throw it into AI and get an FAQ of what people are asking, what the problems with the products are, what are good, what's bad, and on and on we go. Next up, tutorials and guides. This is a lot like the PDFs and stuff like that, where you would go through and say, okay, now make a, a guide or a tutorial on X, Y, and Z. Very simple. Uh, visual content, that's another thing you can use. And then there's a couple others I wanted to go through as well. Um, let me see if I have these here. We had the tools. We went through uh, language translations, um, cultural adaptation, like, okay, here's a uh, blogging thing here. Let's adapt it to you know some other country or whatever. Moderation, plagiarism detection, um, analytics. You can use it for a lot of analytics tools. Checklists and templates. Uh, we talked about that in, I believe it was Monday's video. Um, all different kinds of things like that where we are literally getting the output that can be used in business for ourselves, for other businesses, outsourcing and different things like that where we're understanding, oh, I can use AI to really, really focus on something specific. And what I would say is if you're looking to do this as like a drop servicing or a side hustle where you're providing services, get good at one thing, right? Like maybe do this for pizza companies or you know people who sell a certain thing or Etsy sellers. Be a specific niche and get really, really good at using that niche with AI and you can make a lot of money. Now, again, as I mentioned, uh, if you do want these notes and other notes, go ahead and go to downloadmynotes.com. Also, for those that are interested, it is the most expensive one-off webinar I've ever done because it's gonna be an eight-hour class, four hours on Saturday, four hours on Sunday. We are going to go through and I am going to train my outsourcers and you get to be a fly on the wall, right? So I'm gonna be in there, I'm gonna show them, hey, we're gonna get email content, here's what we're gonna do, here's how we're gonna prompt it. Hey, we're gonna get video content, here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna have my video person on standby there. Um, here's how to do articles for SEO, here's how to do this, here's how to do that. And we're gonna make it in a very, very specific way and I'm gonna show you how to create this content. And at the end of those trainings, you will be able to go out and start your own um, agency. You can go out and you can create your own content for yourself and be an affiliate marketer or promote different offers or sell your own products or whatever it is. And it's gonna be very, very, very specific. And it's gonna show you step by step how we do this. Um, it will be recorded, there will be notes made, and we will give you all the prompts that we, we use on the uh, training as well. But at the end, you will be able to go out there and hopefully, again, Again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money makes nothing. But I think at the end, you will have a better grasp of how to use AI to go out there and get some kind of results, even if it's doing Fiverr or drop servicing or creating press releases or whatever it is to really hone in on the marketplace and understand, yes, this AI can and is the most powerful money-making tool next to the internet ever. And if you understand that, smash that like button, check out downloadmynotes.com, and uh, if you can join this weekend's class, check that out. It's over there on my blog after you uh, get the notes. And if you got any questions, let us know. But thanks for being here. Smash that like button. Go forth and make money with the 